All right, so we're doing an Orbera balloon removal today, and I'm going to walk you through the process and explain how we do it. Our patient has had her balloon for six months, and she's lost a lot of weight, actually 115 pounds, which is way more than the average. Yeah, uh, average is about 30 to 50 pounds, but she is an overachiever. So in six months, she's lost 115, and it's time for the balloon to come out. So she has been on a clear liquid diet for a couple of days, so the stomach's completely empty. And we're going to go down in with our endoscope and take a look. She's under a twilight sedation, just propofol, to keep her comfortable. And this whole procedure is going to take about five minutes. So it's very fast. So here we're going down the esophagus. We're in the stomach. And there's her balloon. A little bit of water, which is common. So the balloon over six months becomes a bit discolored, kind of greenish. It starts out clear. It's filled with sterile saline. And we are going to take it out. So step one is we are going to puncture the balloon with the needle. The needle is placed through the scope. And it allows us to puncture this balloon. This is made of tough silicone, which is why it will not leak on its own. And we can puncture it and suck the saline right out through the scope. So here we're advancing the needle, and Victor is going to push the needle out. And I'm going to yeah. pop it right into the balloon. Okay. And go ahead and take the wire out. So there's a wire that goes through this catheter. We take that out, and then we connect this to suction. Here we go. So we're going to suction all the fluid out, and then we can just drag the balloon out. Once the balloon is out, our patient will resume a regular diet today. And because she's had this balloon for six months, and it's really a training tool, she's learned to eat smaller portions, and uh, she'll just continue doing exactly what she's been doing, and then she'll be able to keep the weight off. So we're connected to suction, and we are suctioning all the fluid out. Little trick is we like to use a small syringe attached to this device, uh, which creates a suction lock here, really creates a, a, a vacuum seal and we can suck the fluid out a lot quicker. You can see she's nice and comfortable. And so now it's just a couple of minutes to get this fluid out. In the US, the Orbera balloon is FDA approved for six months, so we will remove it after approximately six months. In other countries, it can reside for up to 12 months in the stomach, so we know it's safe uh, if it were to be in there longer. But we're, you know, we want to maximize the weight loss over six months, then take it out. The Arbera program is typically 12 months long, so our patient will continue to work with us, work with our dietitian for an additional six months. One of the advantages of the Orbera is that the stomach's completely unchanged. So this balloon has served its purpose, but we've not altered the stomach in any way, which is uh, very attractive to a lot of patients. And it's also ultra safe. So the rate of risk of any kind of complication from this procedure, from having the balloon, is less than 1 in 1,000 or 1 in 10,000 uh, for anything to occur. So this is almost empty. We're still flowing. Mm -hmm. So this is connected to suction, wall suction, and it's just pulling the fluid right out. This balloon was filled with approximately 550 cc's of saline. So that's what we're taking out. Once it's empty, you will see the once we see the edges on the balloon, we know it's completely empty and it will stop flowing. And we're just about there. And you'll see the whole balloon collapse. Her stomach otherwise is completely healthy. Uh, a little tiny bit more here. Okay. Still flowing? Yeah, just about okay. done. All right. And one last bit of air in the balloon here. And there it goes. So we can see that balloon is completely empty. And we're going to disconnect the suction. And then we'll drag it out. But the first thing we're going to do is actually lubricate the esophagus. This is another little trick that will help the balloon come right out very easily. OK, go ahead. So we're going to take a little bit of mineral oil. And we're just going to spray it right through here into the esophagus. That balloon can be a little bit sticky as we're pulling it out through the esophagus, so this just ensures that it slides right out. Mm -hmm. Okay? Go ahead. 
So we're spraying in just a small amount, a few cc's of mineral oil. Good. And then yeah. we'll follow that with a tiny bit of air just to push the rest through. And that is that. Great. Okay, so now we're ready to pull it out. So we don't perform this under general anesthesia. As long as the patient is on liquids for a couple days beforehand, their stomach will be empty. It's perfectly safe to do under um, just propofol sedation. She's breathing on her own. And that means it'll be a much faster recovery for her. If there's any question, if a patient maybe didn't follow the liquid diet for a couple of days, then it's best to be safe and, and go ahead and use general anesthesia to protect the airway. Okay, so now we're using a device that is a grasper. This looks like two fish hooks, and it's really going to grab into the balloon so we can drag it out. Go ahead and open here. So you can see there, two hooks. Close. So that's locked into the balloon, and we're going to pull it straight out. Sometimes they can get hung up a little bit in the esophagus. Hers is coming out quite easily. So that is it. That's the balloon right here. And our procedure is finished. We'll detach this from the scope. She will wake up and then she'll go home. So that's an Orbera removal. It takes about five minutes. Uh, patient will go home. She'll continue to work with us for six months to make sure she's keeping the weight off. And most patients will actually lose more weight over the next three months uh, because they've continued all of those healthy habits. And that concludes the procedure.